Hey everyone and welcome to my first Python for Beginners tutorial. Um, this is going to be a really quick video. I'm pretty much just going to show you how to uh, download and install Python. Shouldn't take but a couple minutes. Um, it's fairly simple. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is just go to, you just go to Google, type in download Python, and click the link at the very top. And this is the official Python website. Um, you'll see the yellow download button at the top and it'll say Python 3.8.1. Um, odds are this number will probably be different when you come here. It'll probably be like 3.8.2 or 3.9. As long as it's 3 point something, you should be good uh, to follow along for this tutorial. Uh, everything I show you should work. Uh, so you'll click the button. It'll download the installer. Uh, just go to your downloads folder and, and run it. I'm using Chrome, so I can just click on it at the bottom left. Um, now before you click next through everything or install on this screen right here uh, you're gonna see a checkbox at the very bottom that says add Python 3.8 to path or whatever version you downloaded make sure you click that because if you don't click it uh, I'm not gonna explain what it does right now but there's some stuff you might want to do later on with Python and if you don't have this checked it's not gonna work and you're gonna wonder why is this not working uh, there, if you don't check it and click install now, it, there is a way to uh, set it up after the fact, but it's kind of a headache. Uh, so it's honestly, it's a lot easier to just like uninstall Python, reinstall it and click this checkbox and then click install now uh, to go ahead and set that up. Uh, I'm going to close out of this because like I said, I've already got Python installed. Um, but once you click install now, it should install really quickly. And then once it's done to just see if Python is installed. Um, if you click your start menu, uh, you should be able to type in the word idle, I-D-L-E, and you should have a program called idle installed that comes with Python. Um, just go ahead and launch it, and it should bring this window up right here. Uh, now, idle is kind of like a built-in um, IDE to help you type your code, uh, and you can also like you can type code one line at a time and have it execute one line at a time. It's I don't really use it that much. I, it's useful for uh, like if you have really short scripts, you just want to test out and see what they're doing. I use it, um, but for the most part, I download something like PyCharm, which I'll show you how to set up in another video, like a more robust IDE system. Um, there's a sh there's a ton of them out there. A lot of, uh, one of them is called Atom. It's really popular, but I use PyCharm. You can use whatever you want, uh, but I'll get into that in a, in a future video. Uh, I just want to show you how to set up and install Python. But yeah, that's pretty much it. As long as you download it, run the installer, and you can launch Idle, you should be good to go, and Python's all set up and ready to use. And I'll see you guys in the next video.